family. Hey, how are you guys doing? Okay, we're going to first start off with today's date, which is December the 15th. Today is Monday, and it is cold. I've been out already today. I had uh, some running around to do bright and early at 8 o'clock, and so, you know, I had to dress for the weather. So this is what I have on today. This is my outfit of the day. And, uh, whoo, family. Um, and you know what? And then I was like, well, damn, I should have had, you know, because I haven't done a day in life in so long. I'm going to have to do a day in life and, you know, take you guys with me on my little excursions and what it is that I do sometimes throughout my day. Um, I do got some running around to do in a minute, but um, I can't take y'all on that because that's some personal good shit. You know, so I can't take you on that, but um, I will give you a little bit of what I got going on, though. But first, let me disclaim that this is not for kids. All right, moving right along. Okay, now, family, over the weekend, I got a certified letter, okay? Now, you guys know um, that I've been, you know, just so on trying to get... You know, my finances and get uh, so much of my shit in order. Um, and, you know, especially around my house, my kids, and, you know, so on and so forth. Well, um, you guys know for, well, some of you guys, um, I've been sharing with you guys that, you know, I've been paying down my principal on my mortgage. And um, I did not know that you know just you making lump sums on your on your principal that doesn't automatically guarantee you to have um you know drop in payment see and see this is my thing okay okay first of all if this ain't for you okay see you later bye because we can talk about some you know some you know all kinds of things i'm gonna go from the one to the wall so if this ain't for you today then you know what i'm saying whatever uh, but when you take out a mortgage, okay, you pay principal, insurance, taxes, and insurance, okay? Uh, principal, interest, tax, and, in and insurance. Okay, I thought I said interest twice or insurance. I sometimes, you know, say one of those guys twice. No less. Um, with, uh, when you take out a mortgage, um, you're giving the option to have a PITI. What the PITI does is with a PITI, um, it will pay out of an impound account. So when it's time to pay your taxes, maybe once or twice a year, depending on how you want to, well, it's actually, you taxes are due twice a year. And you get a tax bill in April and you get another one that's due December 10th, Okay. So, then therefore, however way you pay your taxes, if you have it in an impound account with your mortgage, then therefore you don't have to make those deadlines. You don't have any penalties, no late charges, no none of that, because it automatically comes out of your impound account. As well as um, my um, home insurance. Um, so, case something happens or, you know, some kind of weather, something goes on or God forbid a fire or, you know, something like that on my premises, then I um, would just immediately contact my homeowner's insurance and, you know, they would take care of the damages and whatever. Now, um, um, not to throw this in there, but... Um, when I got my intelligent home placed on my home, because back in the day I had ADT, right? Then I changed from ADT and then I was without for a good while and then now I'm on to intelligent home. Well, with my intelligent home being that now I have cameras, I have sensors and on windows and doors and things of that nature. Well, you turn that into your uh, mortgage company and then therefore you also get a deduction on um, your insurance. You know what I'm saying? So actually you turn it into your insurance company. And then they and would in turn adjust that and they would notify the mortgage insurance impound account on how much, you know, the deductible or, I mean, excuse me, how much they deducted from your policy. Now, for my policy, I got taken off 25%, which was pretty cool. 
So depending on which policy you go with or whatever, um, if you have um, any type of surveillance or home security system or whatever on your home, you will automatically get a discount for that. Okay, back to the PITI. Okay, so throughout this year, you know, I had put in, I had been putting chunks on my um, principal. Okay. Now, all the while they was taking my money, they wasn't telling me, okay, well, Tina, we're not going to lower your payment. Instead, we're going to take it off the back end. So instead of you having a 30-year mortgage, which uh, you have a 30-year mortgage, it's the way it is. Um, now, some people will go a 15. You can go a 15-year mortgage. Some people will do that as well and just pay it off sooner or whatever. Um, it just depends on what, how you want to do things and how you want the write-off. Now, for me, um, now that I've paid my home down below $90,000, I can now, you know, I can, you know, my, I'm, I'm using it as a tax write-off anyway. You understand what I'm saying? And, and being that, um, you know, when you are a vlogger on YouTube and such, you do what is called a 1099, and so, you know, it's write-offs, okay? Now, for my home, it's a write-off because I'm, I'm not only, you know, I also use my home as a business, but, you know, but then, too, and then the flip side to that is, you know, I got the intelligence home, all that shit put on. Man, write off, write off, write off, write off. Now, you know, yeah, you can you can pay your house off and shit like that, and which a lot of people do, and then a lot of people feel like, you know what, I don't want no mortgage. But see, the thing is, you want, when you do your taxes, you know, you want the write off. You know what I mean? Well, in my particular case, you know, I need that write off. Okay, let me just go and say it. Now, I do have two dependents now. Well, my son, he is in college, so I guess I can't use him. This gonna be some new shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hope credit. You know what I'm saying? High up, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know bylaws and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? This is some new shit now. But um, but uh, for me, it wouldn't make sense for me to pay my house off right now. So what I did was I said, okay, well, I'm going to chunk away at the principal thinking at the time that it would automatically lower my payment, okay? Now, my payment was, last year at this time, my payment was $1,200. Now, to some, they might be like, oh, you know, auntie, that's real high. And then to some, that might be, that ain't, girl, you winning, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, all the while, like, you know, during tax time and things of that nature, you know, I would always you know, put something extra on my principal. Or if you add an extra $100 to your principal every month, then therefore, instead of you having a 30-year mortgage, it can uh, theoretically knock off 10 years and now you have a 20. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you want to look at it and what type of interest rate you have at the beginning. Now, let's get to the bottom line on this one from this here letter. Now, this here letter I get... Um, so they send me a letter and they're like, okay, you know, they're talking about, you know, the money that I've been putting on the home and all that. And so let me, you know, okay. So being that I've made this, done this, right? I had to go through the whole process of doing all my paperwork and all my shit all over again because... You know, they said, okay, well, the only way you're going to get your payments lowered is if you totally refinance. Well, you know, I was like, okay, I'm not really worried. You know, I, you know, my credit score is good. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no profound outside debts that, you know, serious this and that. You know, I wasn't, my heart wasn't palpitating. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, well, you know, let's go ahead and do it. Well, they comes back. And now let me tell y'all something. Now, y'all ready? Check this. Are you ready? Okay. My... Uh, they gave me a 2% interest rate, okay? My PI, which is principal and interest, if I want to take off of my, if I want to take off of my taxes and insurance and just pay PI, which some people do do that as well, $274 a month. $274 a month? I'm tripping right now. You heard it right, goddammit. $274 a month, okay? Then they got 
on the next collar. So it goes from here. I don't want to, you know, somebody probably be trying to scan in on my shit. So anyway, believe me when I tell you, I got to read a lot to you. Okay, so then now, and then estimated monthly escrow payment amount. Okay, 299 blah, 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 adjust annually after one year. Okay, which is my, that will be my TI. So my TI is 299 wop da wop da wop da wop okay? So all together, my mortgage for this house right here, as of, and my, and check this out. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. How about I don't have no next payment until motherfucking February 1st? Oh, my God. I don't have no another payment until February 1st. Am I not winning? Y'all ain't understanding. Nigga, it's Christmas time. I got a $500 goddamn um ticket that's due on the first the first week of uh, fucking um, January, right? So, I'm like, okay. You know, I got to go and pay this ticket. I can't be riding dirty. You know what I mean? So I'm like, shit, fuck that. And, and then too, if I don't pay, if I don't pay that ticket by the sixth of January, on the seventh, that motherfucker is nine hundred dollars. They tack on four hundred dollars if you don't pay it by the sixth. Additional nine hundred. So I'm not gonna go that route. You know what I'm saying? I'm already getting ready to contact Ticket Clinic, see what these motherfuckers can do for my ass. If they can't do nothing, if they can't make it proper in less than that five whoop whoop that I got to pay, anything less than that five whoop whoop, I'm rocking with Ticket Clinic. And if, because it's, it costs $199 for Ticket Clinic to take over your ticket and, you know, go to court for you or whatever they need to do, right? So to start it off, it's $199. So, I'm going to contact them. I need to, like yesterday, and let them know that I got this ticket and I got court and blah, 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 and see what they can come out and what they can tell me. Because, you know, if they bust up and say, okay, well, we'll eradicate this whole situation for $313.99. Man, if you don't understand that I'm going to get them this money right quick, because California want me to get them 500 because they already lying on me and saying that, that, uh, that, uh, I, I want to call up, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, people be getting real sensitive on it. You see they was planning about my boots. But anyway, my pussy go, they said pussy went 85. Pussy didn't go 85, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my pussy cat. Yeah, Jack, you know what I'm saying? They said they clocked her at 85 in a, um, what is it? In a construction zone. They said I was in a construction zone going 85. And, and that ticket is over $500. $500, dude, woo -woo. okay, so now, but let me tell you how good God is, okay, I know I threw all that in there, but don't worry about it, he knows my heart, you know, okay, so my total payment, and my payment begins 2-1-2015, you ready, $574, how about that, and some coins, $574, look, check this out, 574 and some coins. Now, they already told me, they had already kind of given me the preliminary already, like a few weeks back, because I think I had mentioned it before, but I didn't have my papers, you know what I'm saying? That was just word of mouth, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, we can kind of get it around this right here. So I kind of knew, and then, you know what I'm saying? I knew the math, and, you know, and then I knew what my principal was. I knew how much I had put down. So, you know, I had a roundabout figure, you know, but... When they was throwing that 2% around, I was like, wow, because I just came off of 4.5%. My interest rate was 4.5. So now I got a 2% fixed for the whole duration of the loan. If you don't run me my money, okay, if you don't run. Oh, my God. And see, and then by, I've, I've added on all this square footage to the house. Now I pretty much maxed out my liable square footage. The only thing now is I can go up is what my uh, inspector says. He said, Tina, don't put shit else back here. Now go ahead on and do your cover patios and your cement and whatever you're going to do. But it's time now to go up. If you're going to go up, you go up. But all this, you maximize your space. So I can't really build on too much back here in the back no more. But I can go up. But I'm not going to go up. I'm going to go out. How about that? I'll move the fuck up out of here. I'll leave my kids in this motherfucker. My son will be in five more years. He'll be 18. I done left it to them anyway. Nigga, I've been done left them up in this motherfucker. And then I've been done got me something real cold-blooded again. You understand what I'm saying? Because I just, for me, I don't stop. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't stop right there. Okay, once I meet that goal, I'm straight. No, fuck it. I want that Mercedes G-Wagon in my motherfucking driveway while you're bullshitting. I done already peeled it out already. I'm like, okay, look, check this out. You know, okay, now, um, my baby is coming up on a year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, but she needs a sidekick in, st in case anything ever go haywire or, you know what I'm saying, I got to put her in a shop or, you know, she needs services or whatever. I need another whip to drive. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got black no more. I need a little black, though. You know what I'm saying? Give me sweet black. You know what I mean? That's her name. Sweet black. So I need sweet black parked right there uh, by uh, Champagne. You know what I'm saying? I need them... Uh, right there together. So yeah, I'm looking at that Mercedes G-Wagon, all black, um, cognac, leather interior. Yeah. So anyway, but the, according to them, they're saying that I don't have another payment until, um, I don't have another payment until, um, uh, February 1st. So I am so ecstatic about that. And they gave me my, um, you know, I have to sign it and, you know what I'm saying, accept the terms and all that. You already know that. <clears throat> so they're telling me, okay, well, Tina, you have whoop the whoop 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 day. Nigga, I'm going to put this in the mail today, okay? Didn't I say I got some other shit to do? I'm going to put this in the mail. Y'all getting this this week, okay? Y'all getting this this week. Don't worry about nada. This will be there this week. Trust. So, um.